Alright, time for a Kazix game. I'm against a Zinzao, which is okay matchup wise. It could be more ideal for sure. But uh, yeah. I definitely don't want to fight him pre 6, but after 6, he shouldn't really be that much of a problem. Because I can just ult to dodge a bunch of his damage. And yeah. Also, this is the first video I'm recording on January 1st in the new year. It's going to go up today as well. So, happy new, year, happy new year to all of you. And uh, hope you had great holidays. Whoa. And I hope you have a good year as well. So yeah. I'm going to place my ward here. Recall. Get the sweeping trinket. Go topside. Timo shouldn't be getting seen. Wait. Timo showed himself. And Trenimir used both the summoners. And Trenimir's not going to get that kill, he's just going to suicide. Uh, he got the kill, I guess. Interesting. Are they going to go for my blue here? I don't, I'm not going to get a leash now, I think. But it's still worth it clearing towards the Draven, I do think. So, we'll see. Don't be in this bush. They're not here. Good. Uh, Timo's not going to be able to give me a leash. That's a bit such. Onka, that's a very unfortunate thing because his clear speed's not good. And you do want to go, go go for a full clear these days. Oh, damn. I was hoping I kited it towards him so he'd just do something. But, I mean, he's going to be too late to his lane if he does. So, I understand. It's not great for me. But, still, starting topside clearing towards Draven is probably the most ideal. Because Teemo is most likely going to push in the uh, Gnar anyway. So, ganking top is not really going to be a thing. I don't really want to play for that. The unfortunate thing is that Pantheon actually dies to... Trendemir without Trendemir having any summoners, which is uh, a little bit sketch. I don't care that he's a longsword advantage. That makes literally no difference. Considering he has no summoners, there should be no deaths. Like, as long as Pantheon just plays for, like, level 2-3, there should have been no way Trendemir ever wins that because of Pantheon's kit. So he kind of just trolled himself a little bit. We'll see how things go. The small one should die to burn, so I'm just focusing on the big one here. I like how Pantheon is flaming Teemo and it's just straight up his own fault for like even doing what he did. Because he all in on level 1 against the Trendemir, which is a complete RNG fest. You should never all in level 1. Always take the level advantage as Pantheon in that situation. Because you know that he doesn't have summoners for like a solid couple of minutes. You can just poke him down and win the game basically. So, you know. I think I might skip my Krugs here and actually look for the bot gank much sooner. Because, I mean... I, I'm gonna take way too long clearing Crux at this point, so I kind of have no choice. I'm muting Pantheon. Good night. I'm gonna go bot lane here. I don't care if the he starts complaining pinging, I really cannot be asked. This should be a free kill. I would like to see my bot lane actually move up, but I guess that my vein wasn't concerned with that problem. She got him, nice. Little sloppy because she could have done that much faster and actually walked up all the way, but I guess she still gets the double kill, so we'll call it a well played. They used all their summoners, I'm pretty sure, so we should be fine on that front. Unfortunately, Timo died. Would Trendemir go check on me here? I don't know. I don't, didn't look how much HP he had. I should walk this way, I think. Come in from behind. See what, he, what this guy does. He's not gonna get him. He's gonna suicide for it. Okay, he got him. I guess it's worth because of suicide and I get the assist. Not too bad. Uh, it's not going to go into the turret fast enough, though. I have to push this wave. I'm a little bit scared for the Zin, because I think he's stronger than me at the moment. Alright, I mean, I get a lot of XP out of this. He gets the shutdown on the, on the other guy, so I guess it's not too bad for me. Overall trade, reasonable. I think Pantheon's going to get a good chunk of this wave still, though, because I couldn't push that fast enough. Which is a little unfortunate, but I got I got a very good base here anyway, because I can get this with tier. And since I'm dead anyway, I might as well build the control ward or buy the control ward. If you're in debt, you're gonna get minus 50 gold no matter what. So at, at that point, if you're already in debt, you might as well go in debt more to buy a control ward in uh, cases where that's necessary. My vein gets a double kill. My pantheon gets the shutdown kill, which 
maybe puts him equal a bit mid, but probably not. So, uh, I don't know. I got a good amount of XP out of it, though, so I'm not complaining. I know that their bot lane has no summoner, so clearing towards them, trying to hit level 6 before I do, should be result of a free double kill again, or at least one. Because I know their summoners are going to be down. Uh, my flash should basically be Draven's flash. So that's something to keep in mind. I am almost 6. I should hopefully hit it off Raptors, but I don't think I will hit it off Raptors. I think I have to do some Krugs here. It's something I do not like that about Ka right now is that you actually just have such bad clear speed. Uh, are, is he doing Dragon? Should I check? Oh boy. Oh, don't kill me. Oh, he killed me. God. Really? That's just depressing. He flash ghosted on me. I think he just kills him, no? Ah, oh, he's kind of panned ill towards bot lane. That's actually good, because that's going to be a double kill. There's no way that's not a double kill. That's at least one kill, whatever. I don't care for trading a kill with Tranemir like that. Like, it's still worth 450 gold to my team. Uh, because Panth I get the assist and Pantheon gets the full 300 gold. Plus, Tranemir just burned both his summoners and his ult. Like, there's not much he can do. Now, one thing here, by the way, you saw the respawn timer on the minimap just a second ago, where the blue was, like, respawning. I'm gonna go for a stop side here. Because he was just spotted bot side. I can take his, like, raptors and stuff, take his top side. Then transition that into my top side later. He's gonna be on his blue. His red's gonna respawn soon enough, and I could potentially take that, but we'll see. I'm just gonna check his camps. This one done, this is. I can just take this now. He's taking his top side, basically, like, punishing him, because I know he's gonna go for his blue first on both sides, since that was respawning. He was also spotted both sides, so this allows me to just take whatever. He's not going to be able to fight me on this. And also, I'm 6 now, so it makes it more difficult for him to fight me. I have to wait for the wave or jump over the wall. But I'm going to wait for the wave, I think. The wave passes on... Bo oh. I will just leave. He caught me off guard with that one. So he got more upfront burst than I would have liked. So leaving there is not a bad move. I got two of his camps anyway. So that's a pretty decent tax from my end. Only issue is I'm a tiny bit low. But as you see right there, that's a perfect example of why with ult you can easily fight a Zin. Potentially if he doesn't get the upfront, like, everything on you. Because uh, you could just dodge his ult. Uh, or dodge his, like, auto attack damage with your ult. I'm a tad bit worried about my HP on this one. As soon as I kill Grom, that shouldn't be a problem. Botland seems to be straight winning, which is good. I've done everything necessary to keep my uh, bot lane, like win my bot lane and then also kind of save my mid lane, I suppose. So that's what all I care about. Problem here is that this guy has his ultimate right now. I'll move anyway. Hmm. Okay, that's a sin on bot lane. Guess I'm just gonna run down here. I'm gonna smite that for the last tiny bit of HP and just keep running. I think Tranimir might run down, potentially as well. Oh, that's a Tranimir. Uh, I'm dead. Damn it. That's a little bit too greedy. I actually thought I could get away with that, but my ultimate was an awkward cooldown, so I kind of griefed it. Wow. <clears throat> That's some disrespect right there. Alright, uh, well. I thought I had a little bit more time in that situation. I was wrong. It is okay. That is a mistake on my end. 
Uh, I, yeah, it's just an ultimate thing in that situation that I messed up on. Didn't play it properly. It's honestly not too bad. I still killed a Zin, and I kind of give Draven a gold reset, which I guess is not terrible. Oh, that my red's dead, unfortunately. Ah, there's a control ward in my base. I'm gonna go this way then. I killed the Lux. That's fine. Pantheon is putting in work roaming wise. We check his jungle. Everything is down, Zin stop lane. I'm very strong now. I have my Prolos Claw. This should be very easy at this point. I can probably cheese their bot lane. I think I should try to cheese their bot lane. I'm just gonna stand here. I feel like the Lux is gonna walk back first. And then I just kill the Lux. He's gonna take my top side, which I don't care about. I'm just gonna wait patiently here. My bot lane is kind of trolling. Yep, good. Beautiful. That's all I needed. Oh my god. Oh my god, that gill force though. My bot lane was kind of late on that. I think they could have just ran through turret to be fair. The, pan the trend in my roam there was very good though. I got killed by gill force of all things. God damn it. I need steel caps here against that team because they're all physical damage basically. Hmm. Not the backup I was expecting to get. I used my Prowler's Claw to dodge Lux Q, basically, because she assumes I'm going to be on one side and I just hop to the other side. This uh, Trendomir is putting in some work, though, definitely. Not bad. I might be playing a little aggressive. Potentially, but, you know. Rampage. That's good. The Trendomir is going to dive the vein here. I'm fairly certain. You know, like... Hmm. I'm just gonna start the dragon here. I think we should have the team advantage. Trenderman is very strong though. Definitely scary at the moment. Yeah, she tried. The good thing about God against Trendemir is that at some point, like, you either one-shot him or you just use your ultimate to kind of bait out his timers. I have a feeling I could cheese the Lux here. She's probably gonna auto-attack that ward, right, Shirley? I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for her to walk to the ward. Are you f serious? I'm still alive. We're good. That was close, though. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna smite this, get my HP back. My team should not have real issues here. I don't like this map, because I can't kite my camps up. Hopefully they just don't die. There's nothing to gain on that side, so there's no reason to fight it. I was, like, very low HP anyway, so... They're still fighting it. Yeah, they're losing against Trendemir. That's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Uh, I mean, to be fair, we have Teemo. Uh, we have Teemo, I can ult. I don't think Trendemir is gonna get away with everything so easily. Unless he builds QSS, I guess. But... I know his rat's up here, by the way, so I'm just gonna run for that, because he was on a bot side fight. I'm not gonna go mid here. Your has been destroyed. I'm gonna go this way. He pulled my first strike first, sadly, because he got an auto attack. I'm pretty sure he was auto attack moving. So that does make things a little bit awkward. I wonder if Nar would take the extreme risky path here. It seems like it. I can't play this too aggressive, because I know their team is basically right there, so I'm gonna have to chill for a bit. Oh, 
I got some decent gold out of it, I suppose. Not terrible. I guess I'm just gonna leap here. Ah, I hate this so much. Oh my god, that champion is so strong, man. I wonder if this guy's actually gonna get him. No, he's not. Oh, Pantheon, or not Pantheon, Trendimir is so dreadful. Oh, I think Vayne has this. Trendimir has no ult. That guy's dead to... Yeah, this is fine. Honestly, like, dying to Trendimir, there's not much you can do about that, because you can't kill him in time. If I maybe, maybe if I didn't like actually mess up the timing here on my Q, because I didn't get the Q off there, maybe I could have killed him by cheesing him. But he just pres presses Trendimir ultimate and we both die. Like, I don't know. I was hoping to catch just the Draven, but the Trendimir was just doing the Raptor camp. I think all of my deaths have been straight up to Trendimir because of his ults. I can't do anything. As soon as I hit level 11, that's actually not that big of a deal anymore, because at that point I could just um, get my W's evolve, which puts him like basically to a standstill for a while, which means he can't really chase me and I can kite him out for his ult. Like, if I can get the 1000 gold shutdown off him, that's ideally what I want. I'm just making sure right now that I get my uh, level 11 as fast as possible, basically. You have to keep in mind that the dragon's gonna spawn in 50 seconds. And I will back for that right now. I have my Muramana, so this is going to be a very nice damage up. And we do have a Teemo, so blinding Trendemir should be a pretty good solution as well. That's a problem. We have to group and get that Trendemir down. That man is a problem. Good night. That's 100. That's 100,000 percent worth it for me. I don't even care if I die there. That's a thousand gold. 1k gold plus I get the XP out of him as well. That's what I mean by you can kite him out. If I had W evolve, it would have been even easier because then he can't move. I nearly got the Lux. If I was a tiny bit more HP against after dying to Trendemir there, I would have killed the Lux no problem because I can basically just one shot her. But you know, it's okay. That death is completely fine with me. I got the W evolve here, and now I can basically just put the Trenimir to a standstill. Getting a thousand gold off Trenimir there is absolutely huge. I will always trade that for a kill like that towards their support. And that's not a problem for me at all. I'm probably gonna have a reasonable amount of deaths this game, just because it's Trenimir. I think Draven may potentially walk down here. I think this should be fine as a fight. One shot him. I'm not gonna get this guy. I should have walked towards that Soraka faster. That was one person too many, but I caught the Trendemir off guard. I walked up to him in invisibility and just instantly killed him with my Q in the, in, the, in the air. So he couldn't react with his ultimate properly, and that's just an easy kill. After I kill him, the rest of the cleanup is pretty easy. I did die there though, but I was like basically in a 1v4 situation. I think if I walked slightly faster towards the wall, which is a misplay on my end for sure, I probably could have been saved by Soraka heals, potentially. But, yeah, mistakes. It's okay. Again, I traded one for three there, which is not a terrible trade in my eyes. Renemir still has his ultimate, so they're not gonna win this one. Yeah. They uh, had some disrespect. I, I guess they weren't expecting him to still have his ultimate up or something. 
Because I did kill him without it. Or without him using it. God, I hate this. I, like a deck crown basically saves Lux's life. Sag. The one, the question here is: Are they going to get Baron? I thought I was gonna be fine, but the crown is just—I shouldn't have overestimated it or underestimated it, I guess. Yeah. Um, he flashed, that's okay, honestly, it's not too bad. Uh, they're not doing Baron here, so there's nothing to worry about on that front. I'll give Vayne the red buff here. I should back for my Shireldias very soon, because it's a very big item to have. The extra slowing effect's very beneficial as well. I mean, I know my W slow is significant, but the Shireldias here is going to help me even more with the slowing, which is very good. We're going to get this, and then I hope I'll build one Control Ward here. I'm probably going to go... I'm actually not sure. I'll definitely build a Revenous Hydra for the extra sustain, but I'm considering going Guardian Angel, because they're still full AD, so the armor from that is pretty nice to have. But I could also just go, like, Edge at Night or something. Enemy team does have an advantage when it comes to the Drakes at the moment. Oh. I wonder if they would just fight this. Alright, Trenomir's dead. Make sure I use my Prowler's Claw effectively right there. He's dead as well. This is just my job right there. Assassinating Trenomir is super valuable in fights right now. And they have it. Alright, GG's. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to the thumbs up button below. It helps me quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, so to add in the end game stats, I did 20.4k damage, which is the highest in the game. Pantheon close by Tranemir, I guess, a little bit behind. Uh, true damage to champions, about 1500. Uh, it's basically blue smite and um, the rune, which is first strike. That's most of my true damage, basically. We have damage to objectives, not much done there. Damage taken at 24.1k, actually by far the most on my team. I mean, to be fair, the, I was focused quite a bit, so that's not surprising. Healing done, 9.5k, pretty reasonable. Self-mitigated damage, 12.4. And I guess gold earned at 12k, which is, I mean, a barring trend, the mirror, the highest in the game. Not bad.